Okay, I've been quite busy today. So, um, previously I got some of the stuff sorted for the enemy log. Some of the scripting. Um, just a, uh, a lot of stuff has been moved from... Uh, yeah, what is it? Yeah, so there's a new knockback script being produced. So, yeah. Um, so basically what happens is, um, you know, when, when you attack the, the enemy, uh, uh, it will stagger. There isn't any, um, so it's basically a hurt box. Um, and we just put a few more bits and pieces in enemy, because this is going to be the thing that's going to be used for all enemies, uh, including the knockback part. Um, and also, what have we put here as well? Uh, player movement. Yeah, so the player also staggers as well when the uh, when the uh, log walks into it. So we've, yeah, there's some stuff. There's a few bits and pieces that have been copied from one script to the other, um, including a done a, a little new. Um, global variables here oh, is global variable yeah uh, for the player state so we've now got walking and all this bits and pieces here so i can now tweak that within unity itself and yeah and yeah put like some a few more box colliders on there just put not back script that we've just done um also just kind of tweaked some of the uh, so, uh colliders and also stopped it from from the log from destroying the pot because we don't want the log destroying the pot because the pot's in, important and very special to us. Only we can destroy the pot. Um, the log doesn't have the privilege to destroy pots because we are the player and the pot is just. Oh no! And the log is just uh, an enemy, and we don't like enemies, right? So, so here we go. Uh, yeah, so here is this. Well, actually, I tell you what, I'm not going to maximize and play because then you can see the the hitboxes or the um, yeah, the polygon colliders. So oh, he's asleep now. Okay, so you can see there. I still don't know why. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I was able to get it to work a moment ago. And it's, it's I think, obviously, something's happened with the script. Um, yeah, now the pot is just unbreakable whatsoever. Uh, okay, so. Oh, so, so when you go into the log, he pushes you back. By the way, he, he, yeah, I understand he's asleep. But there you go, and then oh, there you can there you can see the look at that. So then we can push him away, but then he follows. But if we get further not far enough, he'll uh, he'll give up because we're, we're no longer in his his radius, his chase radius, and he gets stuck on the pot. But I've no longer been able to make the pot breakable which is a shame but oh well actually i'm gonna try something here which i just wanted to to do anyway let's have a look is this the one no rigid body let's turn that off and on the log i'm also going to turn the z axis axes a freeze rotation bit. So, oh, it's done it again. So, okay, let's do that again. Turn that off. Turn that off. And now, this, this should just completely break it. So, originally the pot broke, but it doesn't now. 
And he's now walking really fast, isn't he? Whoa. Okay. I thought... Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn those back on again. That is weird. I thought, you know, I thought he was just going to, like, kind of rotate on the spot when he hits an object, but apparently not. Okay, and that's what I've done so far.